With division across the nation and the world tonight, there was one opportunity for people of all races to come together in our area. Our Lacey Beasley was at a Sarah Land event tonight, which was all about promoting unity throughout the port city. And Lacey, I hear there was a huge turnout. Hey Tyler, there were hundreds in attendance tonight at Redemption Church. The event is called Shrink the Divide, and the focus is to bring Christians of all colors together in worship to promote racial reconciliation in Mobile. We're gonna, you know, do what we can to help shrink this divide in Mobile. <laughs> A powerful night at Redemption Church. People praying for one another, holding hands across the aisle, singing as one. Today is an opportunity for a diverse group of believers to come together and just communicate the fact that we believe the gospel is the way to bring racial reconciliation in every situation. In fact, we believe that's the only way to do it effectively. Shrink the Divide is an annual event from the Pledge Group and has been going strong for years, starting seven years ago by a group of Christians in Mobile. Speakers at the event include Richie Riles, men's basketball coach at the University of South Alabama, and Ed Litton, president of the Southern Baptist Convention and pastor at Redemption Church. With hands raised in worship, attendees are hoping the unity in the church will extend throughout the community. People, uh, sometimes they stereotype each other, but when once, we, once we get to know each other on an individual basis, we find out that we do have more in common than we disagree with. Last year during the COVID-19 pandemic, there were over 10,000 viewers streaming online. Tonight, hundreds of people in attendance. Every year it's grown and the goal is to have an impact across the Gulf Coast and Southeast. We have a message for everyone that would listen and that is, hey, through Christ, we're all family. We're brothers and sisters. We need to start treating each other that way. If you missed the live stream, you can find it on the Pledge Group's Facebook page and we'll also have a link on our website, fox10tv.com. Reporting live from the studio, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.